Well, here in front of me, we have the new Elantra, and Gina or Stephanie is supposed to come over here and describe the car for us. Uh, what, you again? Hi, Mark. How are you? Hi, Matt. Okay, we've got okay. the Elantra, right? Yes, we do. Now here, we were talking about manufacturers that have cars that can get 30 miles a gallon, where you're looking at one. Absolutely. You're looking at one. Obviously, it is a, a sedan that, uh, even despite that, though, uh, that the good mileage and all that still has, I would imagine, plenty of power from talking to you about this car before, right? Definitely, definitely. What do they do? What do they do to enable it to still have enough passing power and uphill power and yet still get good, good gas mileage? What's Hyundai's secret? Well, let's, let's pop it open and look right at it. Easiest way to go. Now, I do have to mention that on top of the power and on top of all the things that we're going to go over, there are some great great financing rates as well as lease programs on this. And All right, we'll, we'll hit we'll that in a second. Later. This is a straight four? Straight four. You have uh, Man, you don't see straight fours anymore. No, you don't. But here they are doing a straight four. Exactly right. And again, with the air intake, we mentioned before the last couple of vehicles that I, I went over with you, that air intake in the front is going to be part of it. That's going to give you yeah, that efficiency. You know, you're talking, you yeah, I understand that. But, but why is that a new concept? Why is that something new? Where did, where did the, cars from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, where did they get the air that goes into the, uh, the Well, basically what they from? did, you saw it all around here. Right. You saw all the big, intakes. The big uh, thingy there. Yep, you saw it all around there. And then when you have the insulation on those vehicles, you're actually keeping the heat in here because you don't want to go into the cabin. So that air is just getting recycled, recycled, recycled. So we don't see that big thing anymore. We don't see that big air filter out in the middle. You have it here concealed. You're getting that cool air getting that efficiency, getting that gas mileage that you're talking about. Oh, okay. So that's how they do it. Definitely. And with, uh, you, you do have a 2.0 liter engine here. You have 140 horsepower moving up through here. Definitely enough to get you up on the highway. And then you're still talking about 34 miles per gallon on the highway. Mm -hmm. Number one sedan for this. And it looks stylish too. Very aerodynamic. Sharp lines, Sharp lines again. Okay. Now, whatever you have your color set at, try and guess what the color of this is. Do you know what the color of this is? I'm going to let you tell them, Mark. I have no idea what oh, the color on. of this is. I thought you it, had it. It's, some, uh, it's sort of like a rustic brown or rustic tan or it's, a, it's whether, whatever sandstone. you're Sandstone. It. It's sandstone. So, uh, all right, sandstone. <laughs> Stan, sand, uh, something like that. Sandstone. So, again, on the front here. Wait a second. It? Let's go back here a second real quick. What, what's the color of the, of the, uh, the Santa Fe? You got Fe me on that one. I have no idea. Come on, it's got to be like burgundy red or something like it's, that. It's purple and yellow. I yeah. don't know, it's a mix. Get you that. <laughs> when you come down here and you play guess the color game with the salespeople, <laughs> we do that all the time. Okay. Anyway. Now, the one thing I notice is that the, the layout here is similar to what we have in the Santa Fe with the radio and all that and, and the, the uh, air conditioner and heat control is basically the same. The steering wheel is a little different. This doesn't have the, the same options that's on that model of the Santa Fe. Now, does this uh, Elantra come in different models as well? Absolutely. We're sitting right now in a GLS. So this is the base the model. The base model. Okay. Again, it does still come with power locks, power windows, power mirrors. You obviously have power steering, cruise control. You got the USB for the iPod. USB. You got the satellite radio if you want to get it right. Absolutely. And yep. options as well. We were talking about the hands-free. Definitely want that available. That's you, a possibility. You got cruise vehicle. control here, yep. Cruise control, and you can do the same thing. You can do leather, sunroof, basically anything you can do on any car you can do here. Okay. Okay. Now, as we talked about, we didn't really talk about that much on the Santa Fe, but let's talk about one thing, because this might be a car that somebody buys for their kid for graduation or something or for college or whatever. So obviously a parent's going to want to think about safety. What are some of the things Honda, Hyundai does for to keep the car safe? Uh, well, we actually have six airbags running all the way through here. You obviously have the front on both sides, driver and passenger. That's a dual stage deployment, which means if you're going fast, it's gonna come at you fast, and if you're going slow, it's gonna go at you slow. So it'll save you from injuries that way as far as the deployment of the airbag. Now, also, it goes through A, B, and C pillar going through here. You have a side curtain airbag, which on a majority of drivers, the side curtain will come down to about your shoulder. Really? Yep. You see the airbag posted on the little... <laughs> okay. And while you have your head in there, you can see it right here. We have a torso airbag, which is going to come this way and protect you so from the side So you're surrounded. Impact. You're surrounded by airbags. 
which is number one. And then we actually have uh, reinforced door beams that are actually circular. And what that does is actually it's a stronger support. And then if they do happen to get smashed together, you're stronger because now you have two levels to support you to keep uh, you know cars from coming into the side or what have you as a side impact. All right. Now, if somebody wanted this for a family car or second car, do we have plenty of room here in the back? Yes, we do. I actually uh, own this vehicle. Um, I and you just happen you just happen to park it in the showroom, right? right? This is my ve no, absolutely not. But I did have a 2009 set up the same exact way. I uh, took it to gigs. I had people in the back. I had took people out. Plenty of room in here. I'm six foot. All my friends are six foot or over. Definitely had plenty, plenty of room back there. Five seats in the back, right? Yep, five seat belts as well, again with the safety. One of the things back here as well is the shingle style headrest. As, you, as a driver, you don't want to have that headrest blocking you as you're driving down the road. It's actually gonna, you see it, Rusty's getting a good shot there of it going over the back there. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, we got a spacious trunk here and all that, which is fine. Not only spacious, Mark, I mean, biggest you, in this class. Uh, it, does look, it does look pretty big, but what if I, you know, if I have skis or if I have, you know, something long or, or whatever, I needed more room or whatever, what do I have to do? Do I have to go over and put it in the back seat or whatever, or do I just have to go back to the Santa Fe? What do I do? No, you have it right here. You have a, a, a couple different options you can do. If you had a big something, Say it's not skis, you had everything. Just a couple pulls here, then we're gonna walk around and drop it down. So oh, there you wow. go for your skis, 60-40 split. Gee. So now if you have that big trunk that you're moving and you need more room than just for skis, you do the same thing on this side. And I'm caught on a seatbelt. And I locked it back up. Pull it. There we go. And we're good. Did you get camp in there? It's so big. Well, I actually have. That's against no. the law. Yeah, no, I know. It's just <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> but you could if you really needed to. And again, with the, the, the space back there, again, I, I'm a musician. I put my amp back here, put my guitars back there, still have room in the front. What do you play? I play guitar. Oh, okay. Yeah. In a rock band? I, I've been known to rock a, a, a here and there. Is it, what is it, metal? No, no, no. I play 50s, 60s, 70s rock and roll. Oh, good. Cover band. Yep. You don't look that old. Nope, I'm not that old. But you but can I appreciate like the, music. the good music. All exactly right. Exactly right. That's good. Exactly so you right. could stick an amp and a bunch of cables and your guitar. Mm -hmm. We could put a couple amps in there. Yeah, the way, absolutely. The way it's set up and all that. Depends where you're going. Then, on top of that, we're talking about space in the, in the trunk. We're talking about space in the cabin. You have all that, and then you have the financing. Great rates here coming from Hyundai. You have options of 3.9 for 60 months. You have 4.9 for 72, which is unheard of. Then you have a lease program on this type of vehicle. First time for us, 159 a month. You can have this vehicle in a lease program. That's unheard crazy. Of. That is unheard of. Silly. But then you do, if you did want to go the financing route, there are rebates as, as well. Then you still have the 3949. These options are great options as well. If, if there's a way, they will find a way to make the deal right for you. I've come to know the people down here, and they are very good at that. And they're very creative with their financing, regardless of your budget. Well, that's great. Now, with, again, with the Elantra, do we have plenty of models down here that if, when somebody comes down to test drive, they can take it out on 422? Absolutely. We have a multitude of colors. The great thing about our location being right off the Limerick exit, you can jump right on 422, and then right around the corner, you can hit the 35 mile an hour windy roads up the hills. We have 724, which you can hit that 45 mile an hour road, and then hitting 422 to see the giddy up and go. So come on down here to Hyundai and get on the uh, one of the three test tracks that they have down here. I mean, they make all the other cars get out of the way when you're driving, you're test driving your Honda down here. Like I said before, talk to Matt, be more than happy to talk to you or any of the fine salespeople. No hassle down here. If you just want to walk around the lot or whatever, the showroom, when you're ready, they're ready for you. You do it at your own pace. That's the way they are down here. Matt, thank you very much. And check out this Elantra.